Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial about how to colour things. So um, in the last uh, tutorial I showed you about components and this is where our model was when we, when we left it. Now I want to show you how we can colour this. So to start with, if we go to Window and then Materials, up a little box comes like this. Now on a PC this might look slightly different but you'll get the idea. Okay, next thing, if I want to colour the box at the top, I'll go to... Um, now I said I wanted this to be wood, so I go down and get the wood colours here, and you'll see there's various different range. Now I will show you in a later tutorial how to get more colours, um, but at the moment this will this will do us. Just grab one of these, say that one. So I've selected the wood, and then you'll see a little paint bucket come up, and you just click on it, and you will see that all the way around we have coloured our cube wood. Happy days, love it. Now the next time. I said I wanted to make my cylinder a metal colour, so I click on the cylinder, go to the drop down list, find the one for metal, there he is. I quite like this shiny one, but you could use any of these, and then select it. Happy day. So there we are, we've got a really cool, nice wood thing on top of a metal cylinder. Okay, let's say I want to put it on a black base. Um, now, as I said before, these are at the moment components, which makes colouring a lot easier. So, let's say, I'll show you what happens if it isn't a component. So I want my base to be, let's say, 250 by 250. Oh, little heads up that I discovered yesterday. When moving things, if you know how far you want to move it, you see in the bottom right hand box the length that you're moving is coming up. Now, I know I need to move it 25 millimeters, and that will make it central. There we go. Sweet. Nicely done. And then if I just make that into, uh, I don't want it to be very big, let's say 20. Fine. Good stuff. So I've now got my wooden cube on a metal pole and then standing on a base. Right, so let's say I'm not making this a component and I just want to show you what happens if it's not a component when you do the colouring. So, oh, my computer's just thinking about it. Right, so I'm on the colours, I said I wanted it to be a black base, so I select the black colour and now with my paint bucket, oh, that's new. So rather than colouring the whole of the object, it's just coloured the face that I've clicked on. See that? Now, that's fine if your shape's reasonably simple, but if it isn't, then that can be a bit of a pain. So I would recommend, just like before, components are the dream. Um, what it does mean, let's say I wanted it to have a black top with white sides, I can do it like that, which you, which you may well want to do. Okay, and that is the basics of colouring. Thanks very much.